That must have been like crazy to all of a sudden get a show like this that just yeah, I mean, it was kind of a slow burn, so it wasn't like I walked out of my door one morning and everything was yeah, different, you know? Right. It took a while to catch on, and then enough people had seen it on airplanes and the DVD and Netflix and all that stuff helped, you know? Yeah. But it was, it was an amazing thing when it, you know, when it came on. Um, I, was, um, I was thinking about this recently. I, I w had dinner with Jason Siegel one night in the first season, and we were driving, and we saw um, the first billboard had gone up, like the first billboard we saw with, with all our faces on it. And we got so excited, we were at this intersection, <laughs> and we were kind of like, look, there we are. And we were at an intersection, there's a guy next to us, and we, you know, we honked at him. We said, hey, hey, look, look, that, that's us. That's us, we're up there. And you'd think, like, maybe he'd go, congrats, you guys are doing great. He didn't. He, um, he didn't look at the billboard, he just extended his middle finger at us, and then he drove away. <laughs> And it was kind of like, it was like a metaphor for show business. Yes. Like, there's your billboard. Yeah. Screw you. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's a guy who had not gotten there yet. Like, no, no, he was upset because he, he, he didn't get the part. He's a guy who probably auditioned yeah, for that. Exactly, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> and you got it or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. What is that going to feel like, though? I mean, for a show to go nine years, that's a long time. And a lot of shows, no matter how successful, you know, that's, that's going to, are you, well, you're, you're done. You fi finished the, the yeah, front. Yeah, yeah, we, we finished two weeks and ago. And how does that feel to you? You know, it's kind of disorienting and I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be done, but I was also really sad to be done. It was confusing. It felt like it's supposed to be over, but at the same time, you were sad to say goodbye to everyone. You know, yeah. 208 episodes, nine years, that's a big chunk of life. It's your family. Yeah. And, and then uh, you have things planned. Do you, do you know what you want to do next? I'm going to keep, uh, I think I'll keep acting a little bit. I've directed two movies, so I'm going to keep doing that. I, um, and I'll just see what comes along. I want to get back on stage. I love acting on, in the theater the most. Well, I am sure all kinds of good things will happen. Um, you're a really, uh, really great guy. And we, we're posting the entire thing on our website. But you wrote, uh, this was for the Los Angeles Times, right? Yeah. You wrote something called Kind Over Matter. And um, I just want to read a tiny bit of it. But you should go to our website and read the whole thing that he wrote. It's beautiful. It's, it, he says, it really shocks me when I encounter people who think kindness doesn't matter, because I think it's pretty much the only thing that matters. We just need to be kind unconditionally and without ulterior motive even or rather, especially when we'd prefer not to be. For me, it's simple and not entirely unselfish. When I'm kind, I feel good. When I'm not, I feel horrible. And I just think that's amazing. You wrote that and uh, put that in, in the paper, and more people need to act like that and oh, think great. that way. Thanks. You know? yeah. It's really cool. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, well, nice meeting you. Good meeting you. Thanks for nice having me. Nice meeting you. And the one-hour series finale of How I Met Your Mother, hopefully we'll find out if he meets his mother, it's March 31st at 8.